Hello, everybody, and welcome to Decepticasts, Episode 6. I am Decepticats here with you. Um, this episode, we're going to have more than one replay for once. Uh, this will be the first replay, and uh, then we'll move on. So, before I get started, though, I wanted to remind everybody that I am doing a giveaway of one Ulthway Eldar DLC pack. Um, all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and then send an email to Decepticats at gmail.com uh, with uh, something in the title that indicates it's about the DLC and uh, your your YouTube and Steam handles. So I will have an easy time contacting you should you be the victor of the random drawing. Okay, so to begin, we've got the blue team with uh, Space Marines, Tech Marine here, uh, Wizard Lizard playing this uh, this role. Then over here we've got uh, Tyranids with the Hive Tyrant being played by Mr. Squiddy. On the other side of the map with the red team, we've got Chaos, the Chaos Lord here, Marsh CT as the player for them. And then on the other side of the map, his teammate, Werewolf SS, as the Force Commander. Alright, so let's kick this off. Now I did ask for replays with uh, more melee-oriented builds, so we can see Squiddy going for a second Hormigant Brood right off the bat. Uh, meanwhile, his teammate Wizard Lizard's getting a Tac Marine squad, and their opponents are getting Chaos Marines and Tac Marines. So, pretty typical o openings. Um, second Hormigant's not as common as more Termagants, but against um, Chaos and Space Marines, it's not a terrible opening because uh, they tend to go double tax or double Chaos Marines, especially at uh, middle play levels. Our first encounter over here popped Kraken Bolts, although I don't think the Chaos Lord is heavily armored. I don't have Polaris tooltips enabled at the moment. But I don't believe Kraken does any additional damage to the, the Chaos Lord. As his armor type would be Commander, I believe. Picking off Heretic models. Gushes of blood as they fall over and then fade away. A bit of a questionable retreat from the Chaos Lord. If he'd stayed there um, and the ranged had gotten too greedy, he might have been able to dive in for a kill of the week. And these Chaos Marines being idle while these troops pick off these heretics is pretty tragic, actually. Oh, full squad wipe, too. Oh, rough. Mar CT. Mar CT. Adding support structure. Oh, he was typing a little bit of a line about telling Wizard Lizard to pee in his power suit instead of pausing the game for a bathroom break. Now this is a bit unfortunate, but Squiddy does notice and turn around. This Hormigant Brood mm, didn't really need to retreat. If this one had gone in on the tax and that one had chased the scouts away, there wouldn't have been any more DPS coming in. Meanwhile, they're trying to get in the building here. But, unfortunately, Werewolf has already occupied it. Buildings are the bane of Tyranids everywhere. Scouts are looking a little bit light. They need to get out of there, and they have a clear retreat path, so they should be all right. Tech Marines getting ch Tech Marines getting chased around by the Chaos Lord. He swings away. Meanwhile, over here we've got the Hive Tyrant just capping in spite of all this damage that's coming in. Squiddy does take him off of that now, and the retreat is beaten, smashing through the wall even. Castlord was also... Again, I think he retreated when he didn't really need to. His health wasn't that low, and... There wasn't really anything targeting him at that moment. That's a... Challenging thing to... Figure out when you it is safe to... Or necessary to retreat, and when it is safe to stick around a little bit longer. We've got adrenal glands on both of these... Hormagons now, and... 
crippling poison on the or the toxin sacks rather on the termagon route so these salt marines kind of jumped into a bad situation here um, this hive tyrant should push up a little more and give these guys synapse that will give them quite a nice edge whereas the hive tyrant charging in by himself well it's actually working out pretty well he does have the charge armor now the extended carapace and again that hormigant brood did not need to retreat this one did now we've got wizard lizard up in the building shooting down at marsh ct again not a necessary retreat he's not being suppressed or really target fired as he can't really target fire he could have just walked away. Uh, these guys don't have anything to do real damage to units and buildings. You can see their health isn't really going anywhere. There is one tax squad that is a little bit low, but it's fine. And then Wizard Lizard jumps out of the building. Not really a good reason for that. Scout's almost getting wiped on the way back. And now he's beating a retreat. If he had stayed in that building, there was really... I mean, Chaos Marines don't really get anything to drive something out of a building. The Marsh CT would have had to buy a Heretic Squad, and right now he's got triple Chaos Marines. Meanwhile, Squiddy has secured somewhat of this point, but now the Assault Marines are back. The Termagants are going to jump up in the building. There goes the Termagant diving out of the building. You just couldn't take it anymore. These scouts are not going to be able to take out this Chaos Lord, and they're not even in cover or anything. So they're going to have to get out of there right away. And we just missed... Oh, nope. One Hormagant gets away. 11, 7, 2, 3. 2 health that Hormagant squad gets away with. Meanwhile, these Chaos Marines run away, and right as his ally is coming to reinforce with a Flamer to drive these Termagants out of the building. Didn't need to run away. Hormagants are scary because they're melee, and Chaos Marines are not. But, retreating right there has just cost this Assault Squad two models, and it's down to... Oh, there it goes. A good leap there, and it's gone. That wipe was unnecessary. So part of the difficulty of team games is that you need to have really good communication. You know, when, you're, when your ally is coming to assist, you don't want to retreat high health units right then. Hormagons do get a little bit of fire resist, but once they tie these guys up, there's no fear of that flamer really chewing through them. Unfortunately, with the force commander there, these Hormagons aren't going to be able to win as Battle Shout is up. And they need to get out of there right now. And they wipe. Are these tactical marines going to be able to get away? Without synapse, these hormigons probably aren't going to be able to catch them. Nope. Safe. And there's another set of assault marines from Werewolf. But they are, again, in a bad situation. See, there's what I'm talking about. He retreats right when his ally comes to reinforce. <laughs> it's a tough thing to master, but it is going to substantially change the way the game plays out. If those Hormagons don't retreat, then that assault squad doesn't get away. And these scouts are in a bit of a bad situation. You don't... The shotgun blast there would have set them up nicely, but running up without cover... I assume that was just an attack move command. Well, blue team's getting three capped at the moment, but they're recapping two points and look to be recapping the third. Also recapping their requisition node. Remaining. And both blue team's members are at tier two, whereas werewolf was still on his way after buying two assault squads and a flamer in tier one. Eternal war up for two of the Chaos Space Marines for Marsh CT.
Good use of Kraken bolts there. Driving off these Chaos Marines and picking off a model before they do. The enemy is capturing one of our victory points. A Tyrant Guard on the way for Squiddy now. This will be a really helpful addition, especially with the basic synapse of the Hive Tyrant. If he keeps that around, the Tyrant Guard will move pretty quickly and Understood. be able to actually engage and uh, leverage his pretty significant DPS. They're driving these flamer attacks off this node here. And Marsh ET has Plague Marines on the way in response. A little bit of a gen bash going on over here. But meanwhile, Red Team is bashing Blue's generator right here. They do have the Power Fist on the Force Commander now, so... But Hive Tyrant does have some threats out there, but Squiddy's going straight for Tier 3. Not necessarily a safe time to do so, but not an altogether terrible one either. A lot of idle chaos units. Just hanging out. Just discussing the news of the day. Oh, there's the corn upgrade right there. Meanwhile, these space marines are ripping through the map. One squad does have a nice plasma gun there. The other remains unupgraded. Cast Lord tries to get in for a kill of the week, but only manages to catch two models with it. But here's the big chaos force. And away go the scouts, and these sac marines are going to have to get out of here too if they want to make it out alive. These corn marines are tearing through them. Meanwhile, the tyrant guard is driving werewolf SS off pretty, pretty handily, as he does not yet have. Oh, there it is, the melt -a bomb upgrade. We have a sniper squad here, ostensibly covering the, the point for these point. tactical marines to cap. Force commander coming in for backup support, who now does also have the iron halo. Termagant's trying to recap this power node, and that is not looking good for blue team. They're down one power node, and about to be down all three victory points. There's one thing about this map is that. If you do a lot of blobbing, you're going to end up uh, losing all the victory points at once. Ah, but meanwhile, we do have Wizard Lizard sneakily using his upgraded shotgun scouts with Sergeant to cap this point. Scouts are a pretty good capping unit, even in team games where there's a little bit more danger of them getting ambushed, as they can always throw a grenade and retreat, or unleash the shotgun blast. But is he going to notice in time? Uh, that sergeant... That sergeant does make it away. This is this is 3.16, so that was just fortunate that it was the sergeant that survived. Wizard Lizard also does have a librarian out. Gene Stealers for Squiddy jumping in on those assault marines. Need to get in on these scouts. Don't know why they were just allowed to just beat away at that hive or that tyrant guard. But it is unfortunate that the tyrant guard's out here without the hive tyrant to to boost it. The situation you want to avoid at all costs if you buy a tyrant guard, letting him be out there not in his shell away from synapse is going to be pretty ineffective. Not a bad smite there. Unfortunately, only three models on these Chaos Marines, so the damage from the area of effect is a little bit less significant. Gene Steelish have been upgraded with their rending claws, and they are tearing through these assault marines. It's a little bit of weird retreat pathing there as they turn around as they're getting killed. That last one's gonna get away. Oh, these Gene Sealers pursue a little bit too far here. And they're gonna have to retreat to get out of suppression and away from that dreadnought as he smashes one into the ground and hucks it back into the base for the others to laugh at. Force Commander roaming around now, gonna try to pick off this Tyrant Guard. Unchallenged. <laughs> 